In today's hyperpartisan world, CEOs face immense pressure to take a stand on political issues. Social media amplifies every decision and consumers are quick to voice their opinions. This creates a challenging environment for business leaders. They must weigh the potential benefits of engaging in political discourse against the very real risks of alienating customers and damaging their brands. The question is no longer whether businesses should engage in political conversations, but how. The traditional approach of remaining neutral is being challenged by a growing expectation for companies to align themselves with social and political causes. This shift is driven in part by a younger generation of consumers who expect brands to reflect their values. However, taking sides can be a risky proposition. Consumers are increasingly likely to boycott companies that don't share their political views. This can lead to a loss of revenue and damage to a company's reputation. For CEOs, the decision of whether and how to engage in political discourse is a delicate balancing act. The potential consequences of alienating customers through political endorsements are significant. In a world where consumers are bombarded with choices, brand loyalty is fragile. A single misstep can send customers fleeing to competitors. This is especially true in today's digital age where negative sentiment can spread like wildfire on social media. Imagine a scenario where a CEO publicly endorses a controversial political candidate. Half of the company's customer base supports the candidate, while the other half is vehemently opposed. The company is now faced with a lose-lose situation. They will inevitably alienate a significant portion of their customers, regardless of whether they reverse their stance or stay the course. This is not just a hypothetical scenario. Numerous companies have faced boycotts and backlashes after taking public stances on political issues. The takeaway for business leaders is clear. Engaging in partisan politics is inherently risky and can have a direct impact on the bottom line. Some of the most successful business leaders in recent history have understood the importance of political neutrality. Warren Buffett, the legendary investor and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has famously avoided taking public stances on political issues throughout his career. His reasoning is simple, he doesn't want to alienate any potential investors or customers. Similarly, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, has largely steered clear of partisan politics. While Amazon has taken stances on specific policy issues such as climate change and immigration, Bezos himself has maintained a relatively low profile when it comes to endorsing candidates or parties. These examples highlight a key principle. Business leaders can achieve greater success by focusing on their core business objectives rather than engaging in divisive political debates. By remaining neutral, they can appeal to a broader range of customers and avoid the pitfalls of partisan politics. The concept of corporate neutrality is not new. Charles Elson, a renowned expert on corporate governance, argues that historically, corporations have been expected to remain above the political fray. This expectation stemmed from the belief that businesses should focus on creating value for their shareholders, not on advancing political agendas. Elson contends that this separation of business and politics was beneficial for both corporations and society as a whole. It allowed companies to operate without fear of political reprisal and prevented them from becoming overly entangled in partisan battles. While the lines between business and politics have become increasingly blurred in recent years, Elson's insights offer a valuable reminder of the historical context for corporate neutrality. Section 5. The Backlash Effect, Nike, Gillette, and the Perils of Polarization Recent years have provided numerous examples of the backlash companies can face when they wade into political waters. Nike faced boycotts after featuring Colin Kaepernick, the former NFL quarterback known for his protests against racial injustice, in an advertising campaign. Similarly, Gillette sparked controversy with an ad that addressed toxic masculinity. While these companies were praised by some for taking a stand on important social issues, they also faced significant criticism and boycotts from customers who disagreed with their message. These examples underscore the risks associated with corporate political activism, even when the intent is to align with what might be perceived as positive social values. Section 6. The Myth of the Silent Majority Some argue that companies should not shy away from taking political stances, believing that a silent majority of consumers supports their values. 
they contend that the vocal minority who threaten boycotts do not represent the views of the broader customer base. However, this assumption is often flawed. In reality, the silent majority may not be so silent, nor are they necessarily a majority. Consumers who are opposed to a company's political stance are often more motivated to voice their displeasure than those who agree. This can create a misleading impression of public opinion and lead companies to overestimate the level of support for their actions. The rise of the purpose-driven consumer is a significant factor driving the pressure on companies to take political stances. Millennials and Gen Z in particular are more likely to support businesses that align with their values. They want to buy from companies that are making a positive impact on the world. This trend is forcing companies to rethink their approach to corporate social responsibility. They can no longer afford to be seen as neutral bystanders on important social and political issues. Consumers are demanding transparency and accountability, and they are voting with their wallets. Section 8. Safeguarding the Bottom Line Neutrality as a Business Strategy Maintaining neutrality in the face of political pressure can be challenging, but it is often the most prudent course of action for businesses. By avoiding partisan politics, companies can protect their brand reputation, Avoiding controversial stances helps safeguard a company's image and prevents alienating potential customers. Appeal to a wider customer base. Neutrality allows companies to attract customers from across the political spectrum, maximizing their market reach. Focus on core business objectives. By staying out of the political arena, companies can dedicate their time and resources to what they do best, providing goods and services. While there may be exceptions to this rule, in general, Neutrality remains a sound business strategy for navigating the complexities of the modern political landscape. Section 9. The Future of Corporate Political Engagement The relationship between business and politics is constantly evolving. As consumers become more politically aware and engaged, companies will face increasing pressure to take a stand on social and political issues. However, this does not mean that neutrality is a relic of the past. Instead, companies will need to find new and innovative ways to engage in political discourse without alienating their customers. This may involve focusing on nonpartisan issues, supporting specific policies rather than candidates, or finding other ways to align their values with those of their stakeholders.